my first get ready with me tutorial um, I've already done looks that are similar to this and I'm pretty sure you've seen me rock El Dorado eyeliner if you've been following me for some time now anyways this is pretty much what I wore in my August favorites um, video I just changed what I have on my lower lash length so I really wasn't wearing anything on my lower lash line in that video so aside from that uh, the eyes are nearly identical um, in color I was wearing Urban Decay's Walk of Shame on the lid and Urban Decay's Secret Service in the crease which I don't always show Walk of Shame in my videos because I know you have to buy the whole build your own palette container to get it and I know not everyone wants to do that so I'm using this look with Inglot this time around so that you know it's a little bit more affordable I guess um, and anyways uh, just a nice nude face and a fun pink lip and I was wearing a fun pink lip in that video as well so if you didn't see my August favorites go ahead and check that out I will send that in as a video response so all you have to do is scroll down the comments below to go ahead and check up on that so to get started on the look I've already taken 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream um, my concealer is beauty without cruelty super cover cream concealer I'm sure some of you can tell I'm already wearing concealer and um do to do oh here's where I put it the all-natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer is all the way from my lid to my brow bone and a little under the eye on 12 R I'm gonna be doing a mix of everything using the dime tool 777 and we're just gonna go ahead and pop this on the lid and pull it through the crease all the way up to the brow bone it's a fairly flexible brush this is a Dunn Tool 777 so you can kind of swirl it a bit fluff it out a bit even though it's a paddle brush take 112 R right here light one and we're just going to put this in the outer corner pull this up to the crease I'm just gonna shade that in I'm just going to use some circular motions and pull that in. Alright, now I'm going to take this dark color in the middle and I'm going to also take it from the outside. So mix the two dark shades together and put this into the outer corner. And kind of fluff that in. I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Matte Camille and we're just going to put this on the waterline. I'm going to take the Dumb Tools 760 really fine angle brush. I'm going to dip this into the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. Looks like that. And we're just going to... Sorry about my phone get this going. I'm about to go into work. I'm just having a little discussion about the menu. I apologize. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this up. It's number 65 AMC. And get the gel liner off my forehead. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of the matte Camille um, on the lower lash and I saw this really cool thing where if you put a little bit of blue you can actually make your eyes look very clear but you're gonna just do a little bit nothing nothing extreme I am going to be taking the Inglot where are you What's your number? The Inglot 371 matte. These things are so magnetic, all of my stack got stuck together. But I'm going to take 371 matte, which is this very, very intense pigmented bright blue. I'm going to take the tip of the elbow brush. I'm going to line in the outer bit. I'm also going to line in the inner portion. Alright, so then for the center, because you want to kind of blend this together and make it look seamless or easier on the eyes, I'm going to take uh, Inglot 111R. A little 
little bolder, but you can always lower the intensity. Now I'm going to take a Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in El Dorado, and it's just a fun gold eyeliner. And what I love to do with colored liners, because I really hate the way they look personally without the definition, but maybe it's just a comfort thing. If you like colored eyeliners on their own, be my guest. I just don't like them close to the lash line. So I love to put that on top because it just looks really fun and cool and different and um, good excuse, I think, to wear a colored eyeliner you wouldn't normally wear. Take, um, the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Ultra Lengthening Mascara in Blueberry. And this just gives your eyes a really beautiful tone. Too faced BB cream. And I'm just going to put this on with the Dalium Tools Yellow Bamboo Brush in 957. Again, so sorry. So you know what to expect. Super Cover Cream Concealer under my eyes. It's um, getting a little busier at work because of the holidays. So what I just want to do is clean this up a little bit. Don't pull it too. That's so cute. So directly underneath the eyes because I don't want to get crease, crease lines. Your gel liner. Just a little bit of eyeshadow. Make sure both sides are even. All right, so now I'm gonna take Too Faced Full Bloom Cheek Tint in T Rose. Looks, looks like this, it's just a nude blush. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this on. Um, I know somebody asked me for a dupe of Lilicent Cream Blush lately. Now I've never owned Lilicent from MAC but from what I've seen from people's videos, this looks extremely like Lilicent. So, uh, like I said, I've never swatched or played with it, but it does seem to be very uh, reminiscent of that. So if you're looking for a nude cream blush, you can go ahead and check that out. Every brand obviously will have a slight variance. It's almost next to impossible to get something identical, but maybe you'll find something you even prefer. The Sedona Lace face brushes right now, at least the ones that had been out for some time from the Midnight Lace set. So expect a review for that. And I'm going to take some of the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. Finally got the pronunciation of that down because before then it was ben -ba -ba -la Banana. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Once again, this brush is the 480. It's just a powder top and I, or a round top powder brush. I'm just going to get this under the eyes first because of the cream content. And I'm having the worst trouble with that wing. I'm just gonna remove that so I don't set it into the makeup that I'm wearing today. The um, Natural Transformation Brightening Powder in Peaches and Cream. And it almost smells a little natural and fruity, really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on first. Um, I usually just go for my Chocolate Soleil, but I want a little bit of a gleam. And um, obviously, pressed browns are bronzers or pressed makeup in general is pretty easy to use and we're just gonna have to go with the clock in the back I'm sorry because we're running out of time and we're just going to normally I try to cut out the sounds of the clocks changing out out of frame when I do my lips for some weird reason so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and Urban Decay Naked Lip Liner Pumpkin Pop Cosmetics Playboy Mommy. We're just gonna dab this on. I'm trying to get a couple reviews out for the funny lip shape line and the autumn perfumes. So I've been wearing those quite a bit. I have a lot, a lot of stuff to do in the next couple weeks. So I won't be uploading um, for a few days. I'm going to take a little bit of Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics Pink and Lilac. I just, um, I like how her glosses bring out the the details. Uh, you could try Abernathy. There's a true similarity to Pink and Lilac versus Abernathy. I think this one's obviously more cool toned. Pink and Lilac is a little bit more warm. 
and but I've already worn Abernathy with pink uh, with Playboy Mommy. So this is basically kind of the look I wore um, in my August monthly favorites because you guys are asking for it. But I jazzed it up a little bit and added a touch on the lower right, bit. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching.